Tonight we're reviewing Arrow, Season 5, Episode 5, titled Human Target. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. In this episode we were able to see Diggle was back, he had his armor on. I'm really kind of curious, how long is he going to be able to stay back without having to fix his problems with the government? So, I'm very curious what and which, way, which direction this storyline is going to take. I'm really excited to see Diggle back as well. Um, I'm glad that he came back and was able to help with the whole Renee situation. Renee got rescued by the team um, while he was digging his own grave because of Church. Um, and then Diggle had to talk to him about, um, you know, Church's next move and things like that and kind of debrief him. So Diggle, we know he's a really important part um, of this team and I'm glad that he's came back. Um, now I'm just waiting for Speedy to come back. All right, well, I want to jump down. I want to go talk about the Prometheus guy. He's pretty freaking awesome. I really like uh, this character so far. I mean, he really, when he says he's going to do something, he freaking does it. He is multiple times have beaten the crap out of church. And honestly, it seems like nobody's really able to stop this guy. So I'm kind of curious. Is he a metahuman or is he just a... Uh, a super villain? I'm honestly not sure. We'd probably need to do some more research on this guy because this is pretty damn interesting. I think, honestly, he's going to give Arrow one hell of a fight, too. The next thing I want to talk about is the human target helped Oliver with his issue uh, because Church was going to kill Oliver, who he found out was actually the Green Arrow because Renee said something about that while he was being beaten and so church was going to take out oliver queen instead of taking him out as the green arrow now the human target was called in because he is a master at pretending to be people um and he even had a mask and everything like that the human target and oliver um they had a conversation about the human target taking on his personality and things like that so that helped with a bunch of different scenarios and here felicity dating the new police officer um it helped him with you know of course not being killed so but we also see later on in the episode that the human target actually helped oliver whenever he was in russia well, I kind of want to go back just a little bit to where Prometheus, of course, we already seen this in the episode. He goes and warns him that three times, right? So, I mean, the first time, it's, what, an axe in the back? Second time, he almost tries to kill him, but, of course, Church had his own little meta. But then the very last time, you know, when we seen it, when uh, Church supposedly kills the Oliver, the mayor, which technically we know are is exactly the same person. At the very end, right before Church dies, he's telling Prometheus that who Oliver really is. I really I seriously believe that uh, Prometheus already knows, and he just freaking kills him pretty damn quickly, too. He did not, you know, back down on that promise when he told him, stop doing it or I will kill you. So my final thoughts on this episode, we see at the very tail end of the episode that the reporter that keeps bashing Oliver throughout his whole term as the mayor so far actually meets with a man outside in a parking garage about Oliver's um, past. Uh, he has a picture of when Oliver was in Russia. So I'm really curious as to why the reporter needs this information. I mean, she is a reporter. She can use it for that. But I have a feeling she has ulterior motives besides just reporting on a story. Well, let's get to my final thoughts here. This is a very nice episode. I really kind of liked it. It was really cool to be able to see that Prometheus guy. But uh, not only reporter lady, I really believe maybe she's actually just, you know, gathering the information and getting ready to freaking just carpet bomb him. I'm serious, just tear him apart. That's possibly what she's doing. I don't think she's going to go back against her word that she's going to wait the 30 days. So I honestly don't know. I guess we'll see kind of what happens. But if you guys like these, hit those like button, hit those subscribe buttons, leave those comments and theories. We definitely read them and we'll catch you guys next time.